Hello everyone, this is Dolot Mohan Jeffrey welcoming all of you to IPU TV. This is the last and the final day of the 136th IPU Assembly here in Dhaka. And right now with me, a member of the parliament from Ghana. Hello madam, welcome Hi. to IPU Thank TV you. studio. Thank you and thanks for having me. So how are you feeling in Dhaka? Oh, it's fun and interesting. It's my first time here, so. How many delegates have come from Ghana? I'm the only member of parliament. You're the only member of parliament who have arrived here in Dhaka from Ghana. We were supposed to arrive last Thursday, but because of some few other staffs, um, our leaders have not been able to make it. How many members of the parliament are over there in the Ghanaian parliament? 265. 265, and out of that only one member of the parliament it have joined this summit. Why this is so? We send delegates based on ratio. Okay. And then I am from the opposition side, from the minority. Okay. So we only have one delegate from the minority okay. and then plus our leader okay. and two from the ruling government and the ruling party. So it's not supposed to be a larger number of people. Okay. Yeah, so it's you're from basically the opposition party. I'm from the opposition party. What, what about the political harmony over there in Ghana? Oh, we because there are lots of stories regarding the chaotic situations over there. We had our elections last year. And then it was a peaceful election. Oh, that sounds really great. Yes, yes, it was a very peaceful election. Um, my uh, flag bearer, the one who was the president then, even declared he had lost before they even the EC took over. So it wasn't really any problem over there. We didn't have any problem at all. It what about the gender issues over there? Yes, gender issues even in parliament. I think we only have like 20% of women in parliament. And we have 10 regions in Ghana. I'm from the Volta region. We only had we only have five women from out of 26 seats out from the Vol seats. Volta region. And then we have the highest number of women in parliament. Oh, that sounds good. Then high IPU is assisting the Ghanaian parliament. This year's um, one of the topics is about affirmative action, how to include women or involve women in decision making and all that. And I think these kind of programs is really enlightening us. It's making it um, a point. We are we are we are getting used to the system where women are asked or women are pushed to positions that were held by men in those days. And then we celebrated International Women's Day recently. It's also another push up for us. We, we feel involved. And one of the reasons why I think women from my country feel reluctant to take up positions is because of some of the criticism, some of the insults. And, and, and um, another reason is because we, 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 we've not been given the chance to. Sometimes they feel like, oh, you are a woman, you cannot do it, and that kind of thing. So I think this kind of programs is really enlightening us and it's making it possible for women to also come out there to perform just as men do. So what about the socio-economic condition of Ghana? What's the socio-economic condition of Ghana? Social economic, I would not say it's perfect. Uh, the transitional period taken over from another government is just like three months now. So I, I will not say, it's, I cannot give a percentage. I think we need some time for the new government to stabilize issues or um, make things work as they term us. Because we just came out from a different um, government, a different ruling. And the socioeconomic, as at last year, um, as I think it was, it was okay, it wasn't bad. We, we had our fair share of uh, developmental issues and all other ones, but I'm just hoping that a new government that has taken over would perform as we are expecting. Thank you, Madam, for joining IPU TV. Thank you.